Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we'll be taking a look at the Triceratops Battle Bike from the Power Rangers Imagine X line. As you can see you get the bike, sidecar, and then you get kind of translucent versions of the blue and pink rangers. So that's pretty neat. Uh, open packaging as you can see here everything's just kind of strapped in. Taking a look at the back it shows you how to lift up the hood to load in these power coins that they fire out of the front. Which is pretty neat. Standard stock photo over here. Uh, he hops on the Triceratops battle bike. Oh, how does the Blue Ranger gear up to battle? He hops on his battle bike. Equipped with a power coin launcher and a sidecar for the Pink Ranger, this Power Rangers duo is ready to battle anyone, anytime. What a cool way to drive young imaginations. Well, there you go. Um, down here, you have a picture of the RC Dragon Zord that's controlled by the Dragon Dagger right there. You have the White Ranger... White Tiger Zord in robot mode, battle mode as it says. You got Goldar, uh, Pterodactyl Zord, you got some other figures here, Battle Armor Green Ranger. So pretty cool. Not too much going on. You're supposed to uh, rip this open. That's how you open it because they're kind of like toggled in. I can show you guys. You just kind of push this open. And then you have to turn these. This is how like all these open package things are done. That one actually came out a lot easier than usual. In any case, I'll go ahead and open the rest of this and then we'll take a closer look. So here's everything you get in the pack. You get these translucent rangers. I'm going to put them off to the side just for a moment and we'll take a closer look at them a little bit later on. Um, you get these three Triceratops power coins. They're fairly basic, but I think they look good. The molded in detail is good. It's not like you need them really to be multicolored. I mean, you know, I guess you could do a black wash on them or something, but I don't expect the Imagine X toys to go that far. I think for what you get there, they're pretty great. I like them a lot. They really remind me there was, um, back when the original movie came out in the 90s, there were these little morphers uh, from McDonald's Happy Meals that came with a bunch of coins like this, and they were double-sided that's what these really remind me of so here is the sidecar now it's painted blue to match the bike but you can see it has the triceratops coin crest painted on the hood and then it's got these little wings on the back uh like the pterodactyl so it's kind of blue like the triceratops so it matches but then it's got a little bit of flare from the pterodactyl here um this is where the pink in the packaging the pink ranger is under here and uh, this thing is just basically an anti-theft device. So if I bring the ranger back in, she was kind of in here like this. And then they put this over her feet. And then there's a tie through this. So you can't pull the ranger out. Even if you cut the, you'd have to cut the pull tie to pull this hole out and then lift this up. Now, as far as I understand, this is only meant to be on there as an anti-theft device. So you can lift this out and you can see the clips there. And then it's kind of what it normally looks like. So that way you can just bring in the ranger, sit them there, and then have it do the thing. Really, you don't even need, you can turn it yourself. You don't have to have the ranger in there. So it's really up to you. If you want to leave this in there, if you like being able to lift it up and have it, you know, go down and keep the ranger's feet in place. And I feel like I might leave it in there just because it does kind of hold them in place a little bit better. Once I can line it up. Um, because otherwise they have a tendency they're a little loose. So I don't know. I might leave it in there. If you want to pull it out, you can. I think it's meant to be taken out. But again, it's really your preference. So uh, You can see inside here you got a really nice, uh, kind of just like a gunmetal gray painted seat. Let me see if I have my light so you can see down in there. Not really much going on in there, just kind of the seat is painted. There's no like control panel or anything there on the... You would think maybe inside here there'd be a sticker or something, but... You can go ahead and put the Pink Ranger in here. She fits pretty nicely. Now obviously it doesn't have to be the Pink Ranger. You can put the Blue Ranger in here. They all fit. I'm sure all the figures fit. Maybe some of the villains wouldn't once you get into like tails and wings and stuff, but any of the rangers should fit in there. 
So yeah, I like I like this. We're going to open up the hood and pop in the power coins. You just kind of set them right in there. Close this back up. Let me move the bike off to the side. And then you're going to turn this. And they fire pretty good. I mean, as long as you put some chutzpah behind the turn, uh, they fire out pretty nicely. I think that's pretty cool. Toss these back in. Let's bring in... I didn't even get to the bike yet, but the bike's very cool. But the gimmick is fun. Let's bring in King Sphinx. Let's see if we can take him down. Oh, missed him. Oh, missed him again. You actually have to hit him. If you're a terrible shot like me, then it's not going to work. All right. Let's not use my terrible depth perception. Yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. So that's fun. I really like that. I think that I have no idea where those other two coins went, so I'll have to look for them later. But it's really fun. Uh, the sidecar coin launching gimmick is very cool, in my opinion. Now getting to the actual bike itself, I love the design of this. The Triceratops head up here is perfect, and this is all paint. None of this is stickers. This crest up here looks great. The eyes look great. The white stripe. I think the uh, horns look fantastic. I think this is actually a sticker right here, and probably this back here as well. But they come applied for you. They look great. They look exactly like you know, the old Zords on the show and everything. They did a really nice job with that. You even have this cool kind of tank tread effect here in the middle of the bike. I don't know what that would help considering it never touches the ground, but it looks cool. You know, this whole part here looks like the Triceratops Zord, which is what they're going for. And you can even kind of see the tail of the Triceratops is kind of tucked underneath. It's not painted, but that almost looks like it was the tail of the Triceratops kind of folded underneath there. So it's almost like the Zord itself turned into a motorcycle, which is pretty cool. Wheels spin fantastically. And the bike even stands up just on its own, which is pretty cool. There's no kickstand or anything. The wheels are just, they're on there. They're thick enough that they will stay. Now, obviously you can see the two big connectors there. There's two big pegs right there. So you just peg it right in. Now they don't snap or click or anything, but they stay together. But the nice thing is if you need to take them apart for some reason, you could totally do it. It's not like once you snap them together, they're stuck. They can combine and take apart very easily. So if, say you have, they have to split up or something, you know, they're, they're coming down the road, boom, they want to split up. He can go this way, she can go this way. Very cool. So I think it's a really fun toy. I like it a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get the Blue Ranger on here. I haven't actually tried to connect him yet. I'm assuming he just kind of... Yeah, oh, look at that. Perfect. His his legs just kind of wedge on there. And then his hands are pretty much right at the uh, handlebars. You can actually turn the wrists. So let's see. Can we actually get him to hold on to that? Yes, you can. There you go. I mean, that's pretty perfect. You can't really ask for more than that out of a Fisher-Price toy. I mean, come on. That looks fantastic. <laughs> and then you can go ahead and put her in the back here. Or in the sidecar. And they're ready to go. Now, yes, they're kind of largely out of proportion to the figures. But I'm willing to forgive that. Because they look great. They're a lot of fun. The gimmick is a lot of fun. And you could even technically put a third ranger on the back here. Because you can have one ranger on here. And you can put a third in there. So, you're good to go. You might even be able to fit someone else. Because you fit a second person. Like if... They need to ride back here. Yeah, well, uh, kind of. <laughs> Not really, but kind of. So you could potentially, definitely three, maybe even four Rangers could fit in this. It's a pretty awesome little vehicle. I like it a lot. But yeah, there's really nothing for me to complain about here. I love the design, the paint apps, the stickers, the gimmick, the way it connects. I love everything about it. I really do. <laughs> it's really a lot of fun. Uh, but let's go ahead now and we'll take a closer look at these two rangers. So here are the two rangers. They're translucent, what I like to call Jolly Rancher rangers. Um, we shine some light through. You can see very 
translucent. The blue looks great. Really, really cool there. So I think they're fun. I mean, instead of just giving you the same old Ranger figures you already have, they decide to change it up a little bit. I think that's fine. Because you're going to buy the bike anyway. It's not like back in the days of like Ranger Keys where they just throw in a translucent Ranger Key for no reason. Um, you're going to buy the bike for the bike. And they're giving you a Ranger figure to go with it in case it's like a first release that a kid's getting. He's got some Rangers to use with it. And they decide to change it up so you're not getting the same old Ranger over and over again. I appreciate that. It's not, they're not just making you buy a translucent one for no reason when it should be replaced with something else. It's just a way to keep it fresh. So I like that. The other thing is, and I'll bring in the other pink ranger that I have. This is the pink ranger from the two pack with Tommy. The white is now on the helmet. So they can do it. I don't know if that's something they didn't think about in the first go round. But I really appreciate that. I just want one like this that has the white painted. I'm wondering if the release that comes with the pterodactyl zord has the white paint that I have to look into that because that's on clearance at Target and Walmart a lot now and if that's the case uh, I might grab that just to get a regular version with the white painted either way I think this one looks great with that white painted on the helmet I really appreciate that so very cool putting her off to the side but yeah I think it's cool I like the translucent in this case it's a little something different. Uh, also, here is Blue with Blue. He looks pretty much the same. Not really anything different going on there. And then just for fun, here is the Translucent Tommy I got from the Battle Armor. So I'm amassing my ranks of Translucent Rangers. I think the other bike release is... Um, Zack and Trini, so Black Ranger, Yellow Ranger, they're both translucent there. So then all I would need is a translucent uh, Red Ranger. But yeah, I mean, they look cool together. I like them. So, I think both of these are pretty cool, and I love that the white uh, is painted there on the Pink Ranger's helmet. So this is a great release. I really have nothing to complain about. I think they did a great job. The bike and the sidecar, both a lot of fun. They look great, they feel solid, really nice and durable, the paint apps are great, the gimmick's a lot of fun, the translucent rangers you get with it are a nice change of pace. Uh, yeah, I like everything about this set, I really have nothing to complain about. I found this on Amazon for, I think it was a little bit on sale, maybe 10 bucks or so, I think normally it's 15 Even at 15 I think it's a nice set, especially for kids, I think they'd have a lot of fun with this. You can split the two apart so they can have two vehicles, they can have one vehicle, however they want to play. There's a lot of good fun to be had with these. I think uh, Fisher Price is really knocking it out of the park with these Power Ranger releases, so I'm really excited. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the Triceratops Battle Bike from the Fisher Price Imagine X line for Power Rangers. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.